Hi, I'm Carmen. I'm an engineer here at Nuclea and today I'm going to guide you through this tutorial on how to perform semantic search over ChatGPT prompts. To do so, we're going to use NucleaDB. NucleaDB is our vector database, it's open source, written in Python and Rust, and it's going to help us in this case to store our text, vectors, and perform semantic search since it's a feature that we offer out of the box. Everybody's playing around with ChatGPT these days and sometimes it's difficult to keep track of the prompts that you use, the ones that you found online that were interesting, and access them whenever you may want to use them. For this, storing this in a database seems ideal, but sometimes performing just keyword search is just not enough. So with semantic search, we'll be able to look for things that are similar in meaning to what we want to do. Okay, now that the goal is clear, I'll walk you through a notebook in which we'll do all the steps necessary to achieve this semantic search. The first thing that we need to do is to install the dependencies. We don't need a lot of stuff for this, just our NucleaDB SDK, that is our Python library that we use to access NucleaDB locally in a very simple way, sentence transformers and datasets, from, both from Hugging Face, because we love Hugging Face, and because we'll need them both for loading the models and the data that we're using. Okay, once we have the dependencies, let's set up our NucleaDB. If you already have your local NucleaDB running, you can skip this part, but if not, you can either start it, start the Docker image, or install it with pip and just run the instruction NucleaDB. I'll go for this last one. Um, everything seems to be running, but just to double check, we're going to use request to check that the service is running our local host in the right port. We will get a 200 response. Okay, everything seems all right. So now that we have our local NucleaDB running, we need to load the dataset. I'm using this uh, ChatGPT prompt dataset from Hugging Face from the user FKA, but you could load whatever prompts you already have stored in a CSV or whatever kind of file you may want. So we're loading it. Just taking a look at it, I think it's like 140 prompts. And everything's loaded. And we see that what we will want is the field prompt because it's the one in which the instruction is described. Once we have our data, we need to load the model. We need a model since we need to get the vectors for each one of our prompts. This is because semantic search needs to compare the vectors to find the ones that are more similar to the one we're looking for. The model that we're using is MS Marco, that is one of the traditional ones used in information retrieval. That is our use case. Okay, let's load the model and then we go to the NucleaDB part. Now we have the model, the data and our local NucleaDB running. So what we need to do now is to populate our database. First, we need to create a knowledge box. Knowledge box is how we call the boxes in which we store our data similar to an index in other databases, if you may. So what we'll do is for every row that we find in our data set, we'll upload the prompt and we'll encode it with the, models that, with the model that we use and upload its vectors. This may take a bit, so you can take a sip of coffee. Now that we have everything set up, we can just enjoy our semantic search. To try it out, we'll try to look for prompts related to coding, art and emotions, and something useful for people learning a language. Remember that before using our search instruction, you need to convert the query to vectors. That's it. We'll use the same model that we use for encoding the vectors for our prompts, encode the query, and then pass it to the search. Okay, so let's see what we get. Something coding related. Okay something related to being a developer relationship, relations consultant, a Python interpreter, language detector. Maybe that's not that accurate, but have a script, IT expert. Overall, most of them are coding related. Maybe we're missing the language one. Something related to emotions, a poet, a composer, novelist, rapper, motivational speaker, title generation, all of these things pretty cool. I think it will be useful um, for people learning a new language, an AI writing tutor, fill in the blanks, somebody 
a chat GPT to do your homework. That sounds amazing. And then a public speaking coach. I would say like most of these are pretty useful. So if you like it, you're welcome to try it out. You can find the notebook in our repo. Um, yeah, just pin us if you need any tips or suggestions. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.